here together now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Again, I welcome you to the worship service today in Jesus' name. I felt today I really have to be here uh, because we've been busy over there in Kingston for quite some days. And uh, some of the people are still on the road now. And um, some of us came back just this morning. And we felt, let's still be here together to celebrate Father's Day together. And heaven will celebrate us all together in Jesus' name. As we look at the message for today, I'll be talking on something you don't often hear on Father's Day. I'll be talking on something that the fathers will have their opportunity of bearing out their mind, they would like to talk about it. I would like to talk about something that will bring hope to all and every father in the house. I'd like to talk about something that will bring joy and happiness to your heart. And i also talk about something that will remind you of your calling as a father, of your commitment as a father, and of the expectations of the world from you as a father. I'll be talking on the message titled, Scars for Your Stars. Sorry, Stars for Your Scars. Shall we say that? Stars for Your Scars. The stars I'm talking about is the honor, the glory, the reward that comes from God and God alone. Sometimes it comes from man, but many a times, if you pay attention to the situation of fathers in our time, of our time, you come to understand that the role of the father, the authority of the father has been eroded in this nation and many nations of the world. The position and the placement of the father is no more there. As a matter of fact, like uh, somebody said, things have fallen apart and the center cannot hold. And many fathers are just hanging in there because they don't want to go to jail. You will not end up in jail in Jesus' name. Many fathers are sad and sorrowful because of the situation around them, situations in the family. And when I talk about fathers, I talk about fathers in the family. I talk about fathers in the church. I talk about fathers in the nation. I talk about fathers in different places, even in the secular, because leadership is no longer what it used to be anymore. But then, because of this challenge or challenges that are confronting the leaders, the fathers in particular, many of them are backing down. Many of them are backing out. And many of them are thrown in the towel and saying, well, let be what will be. The Lord himself, who is the first father of all fathers, did not give up. We will not give up. I said we will not give up. Maybe you don't understand that not everybody appreciates the person of God, the position of God, the power of God. Not everybody even calls him God. Some even curse him. Some even say he doesn't exist. Some even say they don't know him. Some are even doing everything possible to just uh, uh, neutralize his effect in every place. And you look at all the works of God in many places. They are doing everything possible to just make sure that uh, that God is not recognized. But whether we like it or not, God will reign. I say God will reign. Stars for your scars. As a father, understanding the family, you are there as the man. The woman is there as the woman. And we are all created differently. We were created for a purpose. You have a role. You have a goal. The woman is created for a role and a goal in the family. And uh, everybody will play their role. The problem comes when you as a man, you're trying to be the woman. Or when you the woman, you're trying to be the man. No. God has a purpose for putting the man and the woman in the family. And uh, the purpose of your creation will be fulfilled in Jesus' name. You know, I told you that many fathers are sad and sorrowful. Many of them are broken hearted. Look at the Bible in the book of Psalm 147, verses 3 to 5. Verses uh, 3 to 5, Psalm 147. He healed the broken in heart and binded their wounds. He telleth the number of the stars. 
He called them all by their names. Great is our God and of great power. His understanding is infinite. Now, God understands your position. He understands your problem. He understands your challenges and he knows that what you are going through and that is why as a father you want to stand in your office as a father and you want to perform your duty as a father no matter how broken hearted you may be the bible says the healing of the lord is coming your way in jesus name because say he healed the broken in heart and binded their wounds you see as a father you are the one that says stand up sit down don't go there. Don't do that. Uh, and then, when you are the one giving those instructions and directions and the control, and then the mother doing her own job is saying, my daughter, my son, don't worry. Come around here. And then, he's the one patting, and the mother is the one saying, after the father has frowned and everything, the mother is saying, okay, what are you going to eat? And as a child, you lean much yours towards the woman, you lean much towards your mother, and then the father is feeling this way or that way, that is the nature you are in the family for checks and balances. I say you are in the family for checks and balances, uh, and you will not fail in your duty in Jesus' name. And uh, you know, there are people that, uh, and some women also, they make the work harder for their husbands. But I pray for all our women that they will make the work easier for their husbands in Jesus' name. That is why when Paul the Apostle look at all the burden of ministry, the challenges of ministry, as a father in the ministry, as a father in the faith, he got to a point in Galatians chapter 6 verse 17, he cried and said, from henceforth. Everybody say, from henceforth. He said, from henceforth, from now on, let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus. And so, Father, you are bearing some marks on your body, but the healing of the Lord is there for you in Jesus' name. Because of those marks, hear this. Because of those marks, some are giving up. Some are giving up. And when God looks around, they say, I am the father of all creation. I remain as a father. I stand as a father. I still do my job and duty as a father. And then he looks around and I see this father has given us his position. That father has given us his duty and responsibility. That father is not there in the house for the children, for the wife, and for the family. And that other one, he doesn't even know whether he's going forward or coming backward. And God said, I search for a man. I search for a man. Ezekiel 22, verse 30. And I sought search for a man among them, among the family. I sought for a man, a leader among the people in the church. I sought for a man among them that should make up the hedge that, and stand in the gap before me for the land that I should not destroy it. But what's the last statement? I found none. I found none. What I'm saying is, you come to the church, many churches, in case you don't know it. Things are going the way they are going in the churches because the church leaders and pastors are beginning to feel that people are not ready for the truth anymore and so they just let go. Let anybody do whatever they want to do. And some will say, they are adults, they are adults. Let them have it their own way. That is not God's way because the Lord is saying that if they have it their way, the end result will be destruction. Therefore, I, I suffer a man among them that you make up the hedge, that will stand in the gap, that will speak for me, that we stand in his office so that I don't destroy the land, but I find none. Fathers, God will find you. He will find you in your duty post in Jesus' name. And uh, when we talk about scars, understand to be a father is not easy. The father of faith. I'm not talking of Abraham now. I'm talking about the Lord Jesus Christ himself. After he had labored and served the generation of his time and to our generation and the generations to come, he was he was denied. He, he was he was he was wounded. He was in uh, well, he was imprisoned. He was hung on the cross. Eventually, eventually, all those scars led to the star